We need to do this now. Venetia Umashanka, who's over there from India, is the brains behind a solar ironing cart. with the potential to improve air quality by replacing charcoal with solar power for literally millions of street vendors. This is just one of her many inventions. She puts us all to shame. Venetia, we're all privileged to share the stage with you. Over to you. Me and my generation will live to see the consequences of our actions today. Yet none of what we discuss today seems practical to me. You are deciding whether or not we will have a chance to live in a habitable world. You are deciding whether or not we are worth fighting for, worth supporting, and worth caring. Many of my generation are angry and frustrated at leaders who have made empty promises and failed to deliver. And we have every reason to be angry, but I, have no time for anger. I want to act. I'm not just a girl from India. I'm a girl from Earth, and I'm proud to be so. I'm also a student, innovator, environmentalist, and entrepreneur. But most importantly, I'm an optimist. Today, I ask with all due respect that we stop talking and start doing. They're all building optimism by finding innovative and brilliant solutions to the world's challenges. And they all give us hope, which we are told springs eternal. But we don't have eternity. We need to do this now and over the next 10 years. And if we do put our minds to it, I believe we can do that. I am the environment and the environment is me, our life source, our economy, our future. Now, I've seen this in action firsthand many times, not least in my own backyard, the Pacific, where the ocean is a source of protein, income, culture, and connection. And now it is a source of challenge as it rises up and begins to inundate small island nations. It can be confronting, to hear and see the stories of just how real these challenges are, but none of us are here because we have given up, but because we believe there is a way to change the future. We face a series of unprecedented challenges to nature and life on Earth. But humans have an extraordinary power to solve the greatest of challenges. We invent, navigate, See, cure, travel, move, participate, demonstrate. The most audacious of them all, to land a man on the moon. The moon shot. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. A seemingly impossible task that over a single decade became a reality. And along the way, united the world. It's that same spirit that can guide us today as we confront the serious challenges we face on Earth. Earthshot finest for 2022. Great to have you on board. You're doing fantastic work and we're really looking forward to Boston. I'm meeting a real life astronaut. So I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kaushik. And uh, congratulations on being selected as one of the Orsha Prize finalists. I'm so proud of you. 
congratulations on being one of the finalists. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So if you're much. not excited, I'm excited for you. <laughs> congratulations, guys. I mean, I was so um, inspired by just how targeted your your system and your solution is. Congratulations on becoming a finalist for uh, the Earthshot Prize. Heartfelt congratulations from the Prize Council um, on making the top 15 finalists. It's a, it's an incredible feat. Thank you for having us here. We're absolutely humbled to to be part of uh, this journey for, for Earthshot. When we got the, the call to say we were nominated and then a finalist, I thought, wow, like <laughs> really? Um, so yeah, it feels absolutely incredible. And This is uh, Pleather. This is one type of uh, hide. Uh, so what are you most proud of about Sea Forester? The, what I'm most proud of is the two, these two people here. <laughs> if you were to win the Earthshot Prize, what would that mean for you and, and for all the work that you've put into this? Firstly, if we can win the prize, uh, it will encourage all those who have, who are, who have done and who are doing uh, cross-disciplinary innovation in the world. The kind of uh, challenges we have, you know, I hear so many people say they're insurmountable, they are, you know, maybe too big, maybe we cross the line. But the thing that, you know, inspires me every day is when I started in this sector now almost 15 years ago, almost no one was talking about these challenges. Today, the number of people who are talking about these challenges and even the, you know, what the Earthshot Prize is doing is phenomenal increase in humans deciding that we can solve this problem. So many people say to me, uh... Uh, what what made you go into the sustainability space or why why do you do what you do and I find the question quite hard to answer really because it, it was just a necessity for us it didn't really feel like a choice it felt like well why would we not do this like why why is everyone not not doing this so yeah no it, it feels so incredible to be amongst the group of just super inspirational individuals <laughs> we have oh, to be optimistic yeah. it's the it's the only choice really isn't it like it's uh, you know if you do nothing nothing happens last year's earthshot prize winners have already seen their world-changing innovations significantly grow coral vita have in the last year planted more than 6,000 coral fragments around the world and are laying the foundations for the first ever commercial land-based coral farm. Since winning their prize, the city of Milan have opened more food waste hubs and are working to support other cities to process wasted food and help those in need. Inapta want their green hydrogen technology to change the way we fuel our world. Over the last 12 months, they have built a new factory to meet demand and are looking towards production of 10,000 systems every month. Takasha, who turn farm waste into clean fuel and fertilizer, have created new prototypes of their groundbreaking technology which reduces smoke emissions by up to 98%. And the Republic of Costa Rica have now extended their protected marine area, continuing efforts to restore the country's natural environment. The winner's drive to protect our planet is proving inspirational and they're just getting started. And tonight in Boston, the search to find, celebrate and scale the next five inspiring Earthshot winners continues. Solutions that will protect and restore nature, revive our oceans, clean our air, build a waste-free world and fix our climate. The ambition and innovation of tonight's 15 finalists will help put the world on a path towards a stable climate, where communities, nature, and oceans thrive in harmony. Together, we can achieve a sustainable future for generations to come. Together, we will change the future of our planet.